working, automatic, and layer planes. In Vectorworks, when manipulating objects in space, snap points of existing 3D objects will always override the other alignment and positioning mechanisms described here. This is desirable most of the time, so this is the default. Otherwise, Vectorworks requires a plane in space so that clicking the flat display can be calculated to intersect somewhere before infinity. Therefore, all object creation, editing, and moving is aligned to a working plane. A working plane is an elevation of any height on a plane of three points at any orientation defined by the user. Often, the user will define a working plane to make aligning and positioning tasks easier and more accurate. If the user does not explicitly define a working plane, then the location of the working plane defaults to that of the active layer plane. Every Vectorworks layer has a horizontal plane and an elevation associated with it that you can set relative to the internal fixed plane known as the ground plane. The ground plane is a fixed horizontal plane with its origin at the center of the drawing space and at the level of the printed paper. Ultimately, the ground plane is the first consideration for how the location of any point is listed. There are several functions that can affect this behavior, however. Objects and layers with an offset to the ground plane report their height relative to their layer plane, whether or not the layer plane is offset from the ground plane. So, when not defined by you, the working plane defaults to the active layer plane, which may be zero, when the working plane is called the ground plane. As you're working in Vectorworks, you may want an object to respond to a working plane that is not horizontal or defined by any other saved planes. For example, you may want to align solar panels to a sloped roof. In this case, you can define a working plane that is parallel to the roof face, and when it is active, all creation, editing, and movement is observed relative to the active working plane. Once it has been defined, it can be saved and reused later. Working in 3D requires a plane in space so that clicking on the flat display can be calculated to intersect somewhere before infinity. So in summary, all editing and creation in 3D space happens in the working plane. The working plane may be aligned with an active layer plane or the ground plane. Snap points of existing 3D objects always override the working plane. Otherwise, all 3D creation, reshaping, and moving operations will be in an active plane. Working in 3D requires a plane in space, so that clicking on the flat display can be calculated to intersect somewhere before infinity. All 3D tools and most planar tools can dynamically set working planes for the next drawing operation. This makes controlling the working plane very manageable. The screen plane is a legacy concept that continues to have narrowly defined uses, but is not used in everyday modeling workflow. Unified View Integrated Environment the Unified View command accesses a modeling mode to view, snap to, select, and edit objects in multiple design layers within the coordinate system. This mode is active by default to see the entire model and edit multiple objects across layers easily, or to align objects across layers without having to create a viewport or use layered links. While in Unified View, Vectorworks aligns all visible layers in the drawing with the active layer as you navigate in the document window and displays them using the active layer's scale, lighting options, render mode, and Renderworks background. The unified view also provides a unified coordinate system. The Z coordinates of all objects are expressed relative to the active layer plane. Other layers are above or below the active layer, depending on their elevation's relationship to the active layer. The active layer's layer option setting, view layer options, determines whether other layers can be rendered and snapped to, and whether objects on other layers can be selected and modified. 
For rendering, select Show Others or Gray Others. For both rendering and snapping, select Show Snap Others or Gray Snap Others. When Show Snap Modify Others is selected, objects on other layers can be selected and modified. Information Modeling In Vectorworks, information modeling is a process that enables designers to model a project that provides data to fully support the sharing of building model geometry and customizable data, such as pricing and materials with all parties involved in a building's life cycle. This is in addition to conventional 2D plan representations of traditional drafting systems. Using the information model process involves employing Vectorworks' hybrid and container objects, as well as resource and referencing features, to eliminate repeating model components. Using an information model process also involves employing Vectorworks' standardized structured hierarchy features so that the project can be understood, shared, and coordinated by stakeholders and represented to each other throughout the design, construction, and life cycle.